Two, one. Okay. Three, two, one. Grand finals. Yay. Of redemption. Oh, we're back. Set one. Okay, well, Mecco's playing very differently now. It's they're not running in. They're playing what you consider would consider campy, but I think that's the right way to play this matchup. And nicest I don't know if that I think that was nicest DI by Jacobs. No. Is he still losing? Huh? Oh, he's got to go. Oh, that makes it. Makes it. Uh, but yeah, let's see uh, if Jacob can capitalize uh, on Go. And the Witch Time, now Lomeko's ready for that combo. Witch Time out of it. And taking the stock from that, that's probably the biggest adaptation that I'm seeing right now from Lomeko's. Uh, Let's see if Jacob can just close this out, the stock out before it gets out of hand. Especially because Bayonetta can just combo into itself so much, especially against a character that's relatively heavy and relatively big, like uh, Terry. Not as bad as the last matchup that we saw, but it is enough to take the stock, two stock lead for Lumecos. Uh, But let's see if they can capitalize. But no, Lomeko is still on that pressure, not letting the Flame Master land. And that card dunk is not going to be enough. Dash attack into Witch Time. And that F Smash is going to take. No, very good DI by Flame Master. Let's see if they can capitalize on the go. Or if Lomeko is going to close it out. Nice wrap by Lomeko. And very difficult situation. Nice recovery. Now uh, goes outside. Now he puts himself into a lot of situation. And that backer is gonna take it. Three stock by a lot of patience. And let's see what's gonna be the counter pick for Lamecos uh, for Flame Master. I, I do remember last time that uh, game one was <laughs> But yeah, let's see what's gonna be the counter pick for Playmaster last set also as well. Playmaster lost game one also pretty badly. Let's see if Playmaster can adapt or if uh, Lumeco just has that download after the first set saying, no, I'm gonna take the, th the, the set pretty comfortably, not wanting to go pretty down. And we see Bayo coming out. Both players getting ready to Continue the set. I can do that. And we're gonna go to Hollow Bash. An interesting pick. Now, uh, it's a bit of a, a bigger space, but now Mekos has a bit more of an easier time to kill off the top. But also that means that Jacob also can kill uh, easier uh, earlier from the top. And. Nice wait by uh, Jacob. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah. And Michael, starting this second game, still a pretty comfortable lead, playing a bit more patient than last set. Seems like the adaptation has. Yes. You can, but like, it doesn't work when I'm like using a stream key. Yeah, the, the way that to do it would be to like uh, change this so that this is like a bit smaller. Oh, yeah. 
to like a projection like I don't know. Uh yeah. Okay, you are now pointing. Uh Oh, you're Demonite. You're Demonite. You're playing... Um... Daddy's little attendee. That is old. Alright, I'm gonna put I guess this doesn't disrupt it. Uh... Yeah. It, it's good in this. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. But yeah, let's see. Lamekos pretty much just has this set on control, and that's gonna be game. I'm getting a bit of a deja vu. I'm getting a bit of deja vu. This happened last time as well. And Lumeco's gonna go the instant run back, going back to Old Bastion. And pretty much just seems like Lumeco's has this set on hold. What is different? Because I, I wasn't aware of the first set. Uh, the first set, I feel like Lumeco's was playing a bit too aggressive. And Jacob was getting a lot of like combos and conference because uh Lumeco just overextended. Okay. It feels like Lumeco's playing a bit more conservative. And also they're just getting kills more consistent. I see. Like that's the biggest thing. Last set, uh Jacob managed to live uh, up to like 120 every start and man was able to do ghost stuff every time. Now Lumeco's is trying to take it early. Yeah. Not early, but not letting Jacob, especially off stage. I think that's the biggest like weakness that Terry has mm -hmm. is if you're able to edge guard Terry, you can just like end Terry outright, and Bayo has the tools to do that. Makes sense. Makes sense. Okay, so even though the percentages are quite low, it seems like a new for you. Yeah, yeah. Well, my coach is. Yeah, it feels like they're dominating, but also just trying to manage. Uh, Lumeco, trying, to, trying to manage like this situation, especially this, just getting comboed into Yosemite mm -hmm. and then just getting caught on landing. It's basically Jacob just having a lot of trouble landing, but also confirming into that. Also, something that I saw was that Lumeco was able to get out of a couple of go confirms with uh, Bat Within, and that's so difficult for Jacob, especially just to kill. So, getting those early kills like this one is so important, but Lumeco just not letting them breathe. Yeah, and Jacob holding on to that stuff at one point. Exactly. This is Ooh. the second time that this has happened. That is very unfortunate. That is not only very unfortunate, that means that Jacob basically can do this the rest of the set, and so it could combo. So. Yeah. I, I'm not sure if it's a spacing issue or it's just. It's, uh, so there's a couple of characters that can get out of the animation for it before they can get hit by the side B. Like by the. By the Buster Wolf, Rob is one of them. That's what I know about it. Oh, interesting. Uh, so I guess that if you can bat with him before the first hit, hit second, uh, the first and second hit come out, mm -hmm. so you just like air off to the right, to the right. I wouldn't expect Rob. Uh, you can so the, the uh, I'll explain the Rob thing real quick. But Jacob manages to get finally to a last off situation for the first time in this set. Uh, but Rob can up B and get out of the animation to get grabbed before. Uh, it connects Ooh. and nice tech by Jacob. Makes sense. Uh, it still has go very uh, basically. Lumeco is dead if Jacob can confirm into it, but not gonna give him the chance. Jacob is out of the bracket. Lumeco is taking this comfortably 3 0, and now Lumeco will have to play Invictus. It seems like Lumecos was doing a lot of hard reads. Yeah. Uh, not, not necessarily working every time, but every time it would lead to, to a. I think the edge guarding.